Welcome to Dwarven Kager, I'm Tanner, and today I will be doing a review of Red Before Black, Cannibal Corpse 14th studio album. This is the part of the series where me and Robbie both do a review. I'll review an album and he'll review the same album. We'll keep the reviews about five minutes uh, a piece. And it's interesting because you guys get to see kind of different opinions from both of us. We're huge fans of music, particularly metal and everything heavy, so uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. And we're calling this Album Dual Reviews. So, Cannibal Corpse, Red Before Black, 2017. This is their 14th studio album, like I said before. Now, Cannibal Corpse, what do you think of? Godfathers of Death Metal. They are some of the godfathers of death metal, hailing from the Florida area. And, I mean, you'd be shocked to hear this is a death metal album. Something I've really enjoyed over the years about Cannibal Corpse is they deliver death metal. And when I listened to this album, the first thing that came to my mind is this is death metal. The lyrics are over the top. They're brutal. They're horror movie inspired. Very intense. I mean, you've got tracks like Red Before Black. It doesn't take an idiot to realize that we're talking about blood. Only one will die. Code of the Slashers. Head shoveled off. Scavenger consuming death. I mean, come on. This is death metal, people. But is it good death metal? Here's what I'll say. Like most Cannibal Corpse albums, in my opinion, there's only four, three or four tracks that really pop out. I really liked Code of the Slashers. Um, I really liked Red Before Black, okay, title. Uh, Scavenger Consuming Death, I was a big fan of, and Head Shoveled Off. And what I liked about these is I thought it delivered the prototypical, just beautiful death metal that these guys can do. The vocals are amazing, the guitar solos are sporadic and crazy and everything you would come to expect. You've got that dirty bass tone thumping through the whole thing and the drumming is absolutely amazing. But so those are the big pluses of the album and granted a lot of pluses. Here's some of the negatives. You can pretty much forget about the rest of the album in my opinion. Are they decent songs? Yes. Were they difficult to listen to? Of course not. If you like Cannibal Corpse, you're gonna like the other stuff on the album, but am I gonna throw it on a playlist anytime soon? Not really. I've got Code of the Slashers, I've got Red Before Black, I've got Scavenger Consuming Death, and I've got Head Shuffled Off on playlist. The rest of it, unfortunately, is mainly forgettable, but what you are going to get with Cannibal Corpse is, like I said, consistent, solid death metal. This isn't tech death. This isn't doom death. This isn't funeral doom. This is just death metal. And if you enjoy that kind of thing, I really think like this album is going to be pretty enjoyable to you. That being said, I give it a solid 4 out of 5. Make sure you check out Rob's review on this. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dorvin Kager shenanigans. And if you want to support the craziness here at Dorvin Kager, then check us out on that Patreon link below. We've got beer, booze, cigar, shenanigans, a lot of things happening, and a lot more of these videos coming. So, till next time, guys, cheers and rock on.